Hello, hi, namaste, my dear children. Welcome back to the lecture series of Maharashtra Board Grade 12 Chemistry Halogen Derivatives. This is our seventh video of the same chapter, and today we are going to discuss with the reactions of chemical reactions of haloarenes. My name is Arpita Banerjee, and you are watching Arpita classes. Let's get started. So today we are going to discuss the chemical reactions of haloarenes. Chemical reactions of haloarenes. The other name for haloarenes are aryl halides. Okay, so here we are going to discuss the electrophilic substitution reaction. So we are talking about electro Electrophilic substitution reaction. So now the reaction, uh, now the substitution will be taking place by an electrophile. So I hope everybody remembers what is an electrophile. Electrophile. The name itself, electro means electron. From the name we understand, electro means electron, and file means it is loving. So any species which is electron loving will be a positively charged species or it will be electron deficient species. They are called as electrophile. For example Cl plus NO2 plus CH3 plus CH3 CO plus all these are electrophile as they contain positive charge. Okay. So they will be electron loving or negatively charged loving species. So we know the electrophilic substitution reactions are halogenation, nitration, sulfonation and friedel craft alkylation and acylation reaction. In our syllabus we have got these many reactions for electrophilic substitution reaction. So first we are going to start with halogenation. Number one is halogenation. So halogenation means Halogen addition, that means here the electrophile, electrophilic substitution will be taking place with the help of halogen, halogen addition. So we are taking a, an aryl halide over here. This is your chlorobenzene. This is called as chlorobenzene. Now, when this reacts with chlorine in presence of anhydrous FeCl3. This is very important. And hydrous FeCl3 here acts as a Lewis acid. So what is the role of Lewis acid? Lewis acids are electron deficient. So they will, uh, you know, uh, they will take the electron. I mean, this reaction happens like this. Suppose this chlorine, the bond between chlorine is chlorine and chlorine. There is a single covalent bond. Now since FeCl3 and hydrous FeCl3 is a Lewis acid, means it is electron deficient. So what it will do is it will take this chlorine along with its own this uh, along with these two electrons and it will form FeCl4 minus to stabilize itself. Now if this chlorine goes with these two electrons, this chlorine is alone now which will be having a positive charge. So this is the electrophile which will be getting attracted by the electrons here. These are the pi electrons. This is the electron rich area. So this will be attacking chlorine and then chlorine will get attached to the benzene ring. This is a mechanism. We do not have the mechanism so we don't have to go to the details of the mechanism. I just told you what is the role of your uh, FeCl3 and hydrous FeCl3. Okay. So we have to write the reaction like this. That is chlorobenzene plus chlorine in presence of anhydrous FeCl3. We are going to get here two different products two different products. One is the chlorine will get attached to the ortho position and the other product is the chlorine will get attached to the para position. Okay. So another product is the incoming chlorine electrophile will get attached to the para position. Now why this is so? Because in the benzene ring there is already a group attached that is chlorine group attached. So we have to see what is the nature of this chlorine group. This is an ortho para directing group. So the incoming electrophile that is Cl plus will get attached to the ortho position and para position. And in these cases when, when we get ortho and para product, the para product is always the 
major product. So here we are going to get para product as a major product and ortho product as a minor product okay so what is happening here from this carbon one hydrogen and one chlorine is removed so this is minus hcl okay now let us see what is the name of this this compound is called as 1 2 dichlorobenzene 1 2 dichlorobenzene and this compound is called as 1 4 dichlorobenzene so this is our halogenation reaction this particular reaction where the chlorine is getting attracted uh, attached to the benzene ring we can call it as uh, chlorination if in place of chlorine we are using bromine then we can call it as bromination and similarly we can call iodination when iodine will get attached to the ring so this is our halogenation so now let us talk about the next electrophilic substitution reaction and the next electrophilic substitution reaction is nitration nitration where the electrophile is NO2 plus this is the electrophile here and we know that concentrated HNO3 and concentrated H2SO4 is called as nitrating mixture which will generate this electrophile NO2 plus electrophile okay so uh, this is our chlorobenzene again and we are treating this with HNO2 which I am writing as OH NO2. So this is HNO3. Sorry, nitric acid HNO3, HNO3. I'm writing it this way. This is concentrated. Okay. And on the arrow, we are going to write concentrated H2SO4 and we will be heating it. So what is happening from here? Minus H2O will be coming out. Okay. This OH and hydrogen from sulfuric acid minus H2O will be coming out. And this NO2 plus is the electrophile which will get added to the benzene ring. So here also we are going to get two product. One is NO2 attached to the ortho position of the benzene ring and the other one is NO2 attached to the para position of the benzene ring. Okay. So these are the two products. We call it as 1 chloro. This is 1 chloro 2 nitro benzene which is a minor product as I mentioned whenever we are getting ortho and para product ortho will be always a minor product and this is 1 chloro 4 nitro benzene which is your major product okay so this is our nitration the second electrophilic substitution reaction let us talk about the next reaction that is sulfonation 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 happens with concentrated h2so4 where the sulfonic acid group gets introduced to the benzene ring so this is my chlorobenzene again this is my chlorobenzene i am treating this with h2so4 which is in fuming condition fuming h2so4 means it is highly concentrated h2so4 and we are going to get sulfonic acid attached to the benzene ring. Sulfonic acid is ASO3H. So in one product ASO3H will get attached to the ortho position and in another product it will get attached to the para position. So whenever ASO3H is attached to the benzene ring it is called as benzene sulfonic acid. So name of this compound will be 2 chloro 2 chloro benzene sulfonic acid sulfonic acid which is our minor product and this is 4 chloro benzene sulfonic acid which is our major product okay so this is our sulfonation okay we do not have the mechanism so we can just practice the reaction we need to know the conditions of the reaction now the fourth reaction and the last electrophilic substitution reaction is Friedel Kraft Friedel Kraft's reaction Friedel Kraft's reaction now under Friedel Kraft reaction we study two reactions one is called as Friedel Kraft alkylation Friedel Kraft's alkylation so the meaning of alkylation reaction is 
alkylation means alkyl group addition to the benzene ring. Okay. So first we are taking a, an aryl halide here that is your chlorobenzene again. We are treating this with CH3Cl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. This is very important. Again anhydrous AlCl3 acts here as a Lewis acid which will take out this chlorine okay, and it will form AlCl4- to make itself stabilized and CH3 plus electrophile will get generated which will get added to the ortho and para position. So we are going to get two product here. One is chlorine and CH3 attached to the ortho position and one is CH3 attached to the para position with respect to chlorine. So these are the two products. Now we know when CH3 is attached to the benzene ring, this compound is called as toluene. Okay, this is toluene. So this is your 2 chloro toluene. 2 chloro toluene, which is a minor product, and this is 4 chloro toluene, which is our major product. So we are getting 2 chlorotoluene and 4 chlorotoluene. This is your Friedel-Craft alkylation. Now, for Friedel-Craft acylation, next reaction and the last reaction of this is Friedel-Craft acylation reaction. So acylation means your acyl group will get added to the benzene ring. What is acyl group? CH3 C double bond O. This group is called as acyl group. Okay. So to get introduce this group in the benzene ring, our reagent is acyl chloride. So this is my chlorobenzene. This is my chlorobenzene that is a haloadene here. And this is treated with CH3 COCl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. Now, this is CH3COCl is called as acetyl chloride. The common name of this compound is acetyl chloride. And if we talk about the IUPAC name, then this is two carbon atoms. So, ethane, ethane and for COCl we call it as oil chloride. So, it is ethanoyl chloride. This is the IUPAC name. Okay. So, what happens here is CH3CO group gets attached. This is my chlorine. COCH3 group get attached to the ortho position and another product Cl, COCH3 group get attached to the para position and what happens here is this Cl and one of the hydrogen from your minus ACL gets liberated. Okay? This compound where benzene ring is having COCH3 group, this is called as acetophenone. This compound is called as acetophenone. So this will be called as 2-chloroacetophenone and this will be called as 4-chloroacetophenone being 4-chloroacetophenone is the major product. So this is 2-chloroacetophenone which is my minor product and this is 4-chloroacetophenone which is the major product okay this is the major product sorry i'll write it again this is the major product yeah so here we have completed with the electrophilic substitution reactions of aryl halides or haloalines and uh, the major part of this chapter is already completed now we have a very small part remaining that is the polyhalogen compounds so, I will be coming up with that uh, topic in our next video. Thank you so much. If you feel these videos are beneficial to you, please subscribe the channel and press the like button. Stay tuned.